well, we're having a run out in the van today. We're just going into Derbyshire um, to Kedleston Hall. We wanted to go there for some time, um, but we just didn't seem to get around to it. But we're going to have a run out there today. Kedleston Hall was the hall where they filmed uh, Jane Eyre and also um, The Duchess. And then there was um, a Nottingham based drama called Boone back in the what year was that? Uh, that 90s, 90s, early 90s. Early 90s, yeah. And there's some other dramas, Bargain Hunt, etc., and uh, game shows and things filmed there. So um, it's a really, really nice hall inside. I've never been in it, so we'll try and film a little bit inside. I'm not sure if we'll be allowed, but we'll, we'll ask and we'll see. So um, come along with us. We're just waiting for the window to demist. To be frost. Yes. yes, it's a bit frosty this morning, although we don't have any snow like other parts of the country, so that's good. That's why we've decided to go out. All right, then see you when we get there. Bye. Well, we've arrived at Kettleston Hall. That's the hall over there. And there's the lake that goes into a river. We're sat here. I'll just tell you a little bit about it before we get out into the cold. So it's just three miles from Derby city centre. Um, it's the seat of the Curzon family since the early, early 12th century. The house is now owned by the National Trust, though the Scarsdale family, descendants of the Curzons, live on in quarters within the house. The south front and lavish interior, which dates from 1759 to 1765, was largely the work of Robert Adam. The interior probably represents the most complete and unaltered example of Adam's work, still remaining in England. The staterooms are superb, with original artwork and furniture. The paintings are especially strong in the 18th and 19th century Italian works. The marble hall is supported on columns of pink alabaster, rising 25 feet to the ceiling. Within the house, there is an Eastern Museum, a fascinating display of artefacts brought back from the Far East by George, Lord Curzon, um, Viceroy of India from 1899 to 1905. The house is set in over 800 acres of magnificent landscape parkland with a pleasure garden, woodland and walks and follies designed by Adam. Now, you might not know who Adam is because, I mean, I, I must admit I didn't. But his name is Robert Adam, and was born in Kirkcaldy in the Kingdom of Fife in 1728. The son of a stonemason, he moved to Edinburgh at the age of 11, where his father William became the preeminent ar architect in Scotland. Robert attended Edinburgh University, but he never did graduate due to the twin spectres of illness and the 45 Jacobite Rebellion. When Robert was just 20, his father died and the young man joined the family architectural firm, which became known as the Adam Brothers. So there you are. That's just a little insight into it um, before we get out of the van. OK, see you shortly.
at the back of the hall is a church obviously used by the family spinning it to the top of here <laughs> over to the bridge. I thought the water was frozen, but it looks as though it's flowing. Tony just turns around and has a look. No, I can see it's flowing. It's not frozen. It's over there. That looks frozen. Parts of the lake. And then the house. Beautiful in there. It certainly is. It's a wow factor. And there's the motorhome at the top there. All on its own. <laughs> yeah. And there's the car park. But it's bitterly cold. <clears throat> Minus two, it is, to be exact. Are you cold? Very cold. Why don't you want your hat on? Well, I was going to put it on, but I hate hats. I keep putting this up so it's nice and snuggly. Mm. But it falls. I either like that look. <sighs> uh oh. Cars. Cars again. Car alert. <sighs> There's no animals, is there? <laughs> no. No animals about. Well, I've got my hat on. <sighs> this one. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Are you warm now? Yeah. With your hood up? Warm with my hood up. Mm -hmm. Yes, this bridge look, it says it's got a weight restriction. <clears throat> it isn't very wide, is it? Well, I'm sure we could have come in on it, don't you think? It's wide enough for a motorhome. Yeah. Yes, no problem. It's better to come the other way because it's very winding. It says 7.5 tonnes. Well, ours is at half that. Yeah. So. Maybe she thought we got a massive motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did like that, that way is easier to come in there. Yeah, what part of the uh, lake there is frozen. Oh, it's cold. There's an island in the middle, look. Mm -hmm. Well, the boats would be kept. View of the house. Oh, look, the heron. Where's mine? Oh, yeah. The heron. He's got a nest down here, look. I don't think he'd be nesting at this time, really. Look at the ducks. It's quite the more. I can hear the waterfall, but I can't see it from here. Yeah, you can hear it. We're leaving Kettleston now. Last view of the lake. We've had a really lovely morning, haven't we? Half a mile, turn right onto Merkiston Lane. 
very impressive the whole program. Yes. If anybody is a National Trust member and they know Derby, I would recommend a visit. Yes, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, really good. It's super. And the walks that you would go on if you were here are uh, sort of behind there, over that way. There's lots of trails and walks that you can go on. In half a mile, turn right onto yes, Maxton we'll Lane. Yes, uh, coming here in the summer, that's for sure. Look at that. What am I looking at? Bird of oh, Bray. yeah, Bird of Bray. Wow. Swooping down. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of uh, nice stately homes near us, don't we? You know, the top, not right next to us, but within an hour or so. Yeah, Chatsworth House. Yeah, Chatsworth House, Hardwick Hardwick Hall, Hall, Haddon Hall. That's not far, is it? No. Kettleston. And then Kettleston Hall. And this looks like the lodge house. So see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye for now.